boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting a massage. In New Zealand, everyone colours up, but here it's just... Oh yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, I know, it's weird, eh? Like, I don't even care, but... I, feel like I literally, weird. in the camper, Peyton was eating a donut, and was just fully <laughs> naked, <laughs> just, <laughs> just <laughs> eating a donut. Like, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Peyton was eating a donut. Just and completely just naked. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just gonna hopefully Wait, make, we're gonna make time. We're gonna actually smash the time cut. <laughs> we don't have TD bikes. We've got three TD bikes and three road bikes. Uh, trained on a TD bike in such a different position. Uh, uses different muscles. So it's good and bad. But we'll see how yeah. we go. Oh, I'm watching um, Love on the Street. <laughs> oh, I've learned so my vocabulary has like <laughs> tripled. Um, bogan I like. You're just a bloody bogan. And then, uh, what was the other one? Dag. He was like, you're just a dag, mate. And that's basically, well, I don't really want to explain that. It was Taylor Finney and his, his crew, they were like on the front for coming into it, right? Yeah. And then, I don't know what happened to them, they kind of... Didn't do such a good job, did they? No, no Andre Greipel beat them. Um, yeah, well, they were being like normal, like all the pro teams are to us. As far as they're concerned, you know, we're going to drop the wheel on them, etc. Um, I know some of the sprinters are there alright with me, like Dan McClay for example, I know him quite well so he'll give me a bit of room, whereas Taylor Finney's a bit of a d even though he knows me. So yeah, um, whereas Andre Greipel's pretty sound, so yeah, they all vary. Yeah, I could have used a stronger word, but we're in a restaurant. Well, I mean, the most important thing of the day is to get four guys to finish in a decent time, you know, and you've got to get, you know, work, work as best as you can for the six of us to achieve that. You know, myself and Andy maybe putting a little bit more effort and emphasis on the bottom, the bottom of the climb and the first half, you know, just to try and help get the guys as a unit to as far up the climb as we can to get a good time. Yeah, I shouldn't need any luck. <laughs> if we need any luck, I'm in trouble. Yeah, limit our losses. Obviously, we haven't got the biggest budget in the world, so a few of our team are on road bikes, but we'll give our best shot. Yeah. We haven't got three million quid, and we haven't got whatever, more than three million quid, most of these teams. So we'll do what we can do with the riders we got, and everyone will give their all, and that's all that matters, basically. You have to push the edge of the gap between the point where your hands hold and where your elbows rest, and it's got to be a, a minimum distance. But there's a an exception. There's an, there's an exception if you're over 190 centimeters, and that bike is actually Charlie's bike, who is over 190 centimeters. So when it's gone through the jig, it's passed for Charlie, but Alex is has shrunk in the last few years where he's got old, and therefore it doesn't quite pass. Okay, folks, three can make some noise. JLT Honda are underway. Our first team on the. Our next team, this is another British team, of course, as we mentioned. Uh, the riders on the team of Canyon Iceberg. In a way, they are due to depart at eight minutes past one o'clock. So uh, inside the uh, final two minutes for the team of Canyon Iceberg. Represent Basically, the guys are just about to go onto the ramp, start the TT, and and he gets a flat, and the brake different. The brake distance is different, and it's like, oh man, it's. It's like one thing after another, but you just got to stay calm, stay focused. That's how Tim works. That's how he's taught me to like, I've got to just do it and like, just think about it, calculated. We had shit hit the fan, but if you duck, you get out of the way of shit and you don't get hit. I like that. <laughs> For Canyon Iceberg, and they are almost ready to go. We'll be into the final uh, one minute of the countdown. Yeah, our British team of Canyon Iceberg. Do not need that. Go, Canyon Iceberg. Oh, oh, no! Okay, you know he's going to take the start. 
Split time come up in here at some point, and I'm not really sure when. They draw ballots now, it's going to be all go uh, struggle to make time cut. Come on, Rosie. Come on, Rosie, dig in! Come on! Oh. Come on, mate! Oh. Push! Go on, go on! Boys, you are a five. Day out yesterday is what that is. Yeah, 100%. Maybe do a short turn along here, turn and get the others to do more of a turn so you can do a longer turn on the descent after this left hander. Intermediate time for Chelsea Condor 13.14.17. And just keep going as hard as you can to make time come. Dex is my worry, man, but we've only got 4k to go. See, this is where the road bikes for me is the good thing. That's it, well done, that's it. Stay together and wind it on as we crest. This came down to a sub minute that Max loses, I'll be basically happy. These people don't seem to want to keep their feet. Come on, Dex, come on! Come on, Dexter! Come on, boys! Come on! This is ultimately what, what we thought of is the fourth man is going to finish it. He's all right though. He's They're doing all right. right, yeah. He's doing his fighting. Which is He's good. Yeah. Come on, Dex. Come on, Dex. Come on, Dex. All the way. Come on. 500 meters. Come on, Dex. Come on, Dexter. Come on. Come on. Right to the line. Right to come the on. line. Right to the line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Max Stedman led his Canyon Iceberg team home and it was a time of 21 minutes and 20 seconds for the British outfit. Oh, oh are they? Oh, All right, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I went with him out, I should have come off it. Uh, at well the minute, early. the only people quicker at the halfway is GB, and it's only a bit, and they're all on TTs. It's the second half where this works. Amazing. I'm genuinely, amazing. I'm amazing. genuinely scared good. about like, communication and pattern making the time cut. I've got to. Communication. Right, mate, pattern, I don't know what happened to him. I think he did, right. just that first drag, he just went yeah. too deep. But well done, communication mate. Was, there. Well communication done. was fucking good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back way through that was there. Where do I go in the car? Down to the bar? Yeah, mate, while I was stressed over there. Amazing. That was fine. I think that was as good as that. That is as good as that. I'm telling you. Let's go. That's enough. No, I can't be disappointed with that. Boys go there all That was brilliant. Brilliant. Go back and take the seat. Do you want your jerseys? Yes, please, mate. <laughs> so, that corner, I was like, oh, we're the only three of us. I hate to go through, otherwise, like, like, we would have been. No, you had to go through on the left. You had to go through on the uh, left because we, uh, we had to overtake Max on the apex of the corner, which meant Talon, Talon got dropped. Okay. I should have I should have done the. the uh, I, I should have done a longer turn. I should have taken us all the way up the hill. If I take us all the way up the hill, I would have swung off and Talon would have done all of the downhill. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking, like, Tillett rolled off, Bex is rolling off, and I was like, fuck, we've got to go through here now, otherwise we're not going to get them under the set. That's why I went through so early. I said to Max this morning, in reality, you're going to lose GC places. We limited our losses as well as I think we could have and I'm still in that hunt for a top 20 so I think all round yeah it's gone pretty well. The, the best thing is that Max is sort of in touch and distance of a decent final placing so yeah we can be we can be all right with that. So. You know we delivered a decent result what I was most scared about was Max losing too much time today uh, I think it's a very real chance he could snake his way up to top 20 and our ultimate goal with this level of field which is a very good Tour of Britain field. I mean, there's a lot of Tour de France riders here. I think uh, a top 20 would be a really, really good result. I'll see if I can find my way up a few places and it's about, about as much as I can do, ride my bike as hard as I can, make sure position's okay and follow the front of the race. I think Alex struggled on a, on a time trial bike that wasn't his and one that he hadn't practiced on. I mean, for me, I basically did a oh, best part of a 
12k individual time trial. <laughs> He was never going all the way. I was a little bit worried he might struggle with the time cut. A couple of education first guys missed time cut. Alex was a bit of a shitter. I was like, uh oh, that's not great. Uh, yeah, if I'd been in Alex's position, I'd have been a lot more worried. Yeah, it's good. That it's, it's a good show for us as like British Conti teams to beat other Conti teams and things like that. Well, I've had a couple of comments from other teams saying how well positioned all of our guys have been. We work with what we've got. Right this second, we're having a really good race. Morale's high, we're still functioning well. Rest and recover as best we can, and we go again tomorrow, really. Catch yeah. up on a bit of love up the doors. <laughs> Good luck, man. <laughs> Tuck, Tuck wants to get involved as well. Playing peace off, but. <laughs> Morale's always good. Uh, no, team morale's good. It's fun. Uh, good fun. Boys are enjoying themselves. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's all right, so.